I am Steve Pruitt with another edition of the Week in Review. For the past 80 years, Denver has been diverting water from the Fraser River. A new mitigation enhancement plan between Grand County, Trout Unlimited, and Denver Water ties the agreement's permit to a science-based process of adaptive management. According to local water expert Kirk Clanky, if this agreement dies, the next 80 years will look like the last 80 years. If the agreement we've negotiated passes, we'll be able to ensure the ongoing health of the Fraser. For the first time, it will finally give Trout Unlimited and Grand County real power to protect the health of the Fraser River. Visit the Trout Unlimited website for more details. The Arapaho National Recreation Area is reducing its carbon footprint this year by installing solar panels on fee stations within the recreation area. The ANRA is the only congressionally designated national recreation area in Colorado managed by the U.S. Forest Service. All fees go directly to maintaining and improving the area's amenities, boat ramps, and campgrounds. The new solar program meets the President's Energy Independence Act of 2007. Trail Ridge Road through the Rocky Mountain National Park, the highest continuous paved road in the United States, climbs to 12,183 feet and connects the towns of Estes Park and Grand Lake. Typically, the road opens for Memorial Day weekend. This year, the road opened and closed several times throughout the blustery weekend. Weather conditions change rapidly in the spring, and park visitors should plan for closures and adjust travel plans accordingly. Call the park's Trail Ridge Road hotline for current status. High water from the Fraser River has forced the closure of County Road 57 outside of Granby, and residents may access their home on the west end of the roadway. The wet spring, along with snowpack on the peaks, could bring more localized flooding to the mountain region. The long-range weather outlook shows more scattered storms over the next 10 days. The Grand Arts Council brought the holiday melodrama to the theater for the Memorial Day weekend and had a good turnout. The melodrama titled The Treasure of Shiver River has been a holiday tradition for many years and provides good wholesome entertainment for the whole family. This year, Rocky Mountain Rep Theater opens June 13th with the classic La Miserable. Call the box office for details and upcoming shows. For more information on what's happening in Grand County, stay tuned to TV18. We bring you the latest news, entertainment, weather, and conditions, as well as what to do and where to eat. For TV18, I am Steve Pruitt, and I will see you next time on the Week in Review. Seven.